prompt rewriting. Uh, this is a really cool technique, and actually it's the secret source behind a lot of commercial grade AI apps. Um, so typically whenever you allow the users to prompt, they're gonna prompt something naive. Uh, most people don't know or care much about prompt engineering. You see here a dash and dog in the style of Banksy. They have given an evocative style that the AI will know, and they've given a cool subject, but haven't really given much else in terms of description. So what it can help is actually just rewriting the prompt in the back end before it gets sent out. So the user doesn't know, but you're actually generating a much better prompt. And actually, apparently Midjourney itself works this way too. They do this in the background based on their data of what prompts lead to better results. Cool. All right, let's copy this across and then I'm just going to show you how to do this in here. We have this prompt. So what artist is mentioned in this prompt? A dash and dong of the style of Banksy. And then if you run that, it comes back with Banksy. And then what medium is this artist mostly known for? Respond to one to three words only, street art. And then actually, even with just that, I found in general, you can get better results. If we just say, if we say a dash on dog in the style. So we would just say street art of a dash and dog in the style of Banksy. Just adding the medium itself tends to really help. Sorry, imagine. Then prompt. So literally just doing that, just extracting out the artist, asking a little bit more detail about the artist, and then injecting that back into the prompt, I should get us better results. So we're just gonna run that. Okay, here we go. We've got some better results here. Let's say, still going. Okay, uh, yeah, a little bit. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that really ramped up in that last frame. <laughs> so I think this one's much better. That one's pretty cool. That does look like Banksy. This one's a little bit pop art. This one's really weird. I don't know what's going on there. I think in general, we've gotten rid of some of the issues that we had with this one where the legs were sticking over, but it's still not there yet. We're going to go one more round with pro with the rewriting, and then we're just going to say, we're just literally just going to ask it to rewrite the prompt for Dali. Now, I know we're using Midjourney, but uh, typically GPT-4 doesn't know what Midjourney is, and Dali was out before the cutoff date. So um, and I'm asking it for meticulous art direction and descriptive words. So here, I haven't run that one, but let's just submit that and see what it comes back. So now we're getting a much more detailed image here. One thing you have to do is say, no need to say create an image, just describe the composition, because it does make the mistake of telling it, hey, you, you need to create an image. Cool. I'm just going to copy that and just going to see what it comes back with. This is very similar if you've seen this lesson to the unbundling lesson in that it is doing a, an element of unbundling. It is kind of pulling out like what are the things that make Banksy, kind of adding that to the prompt. So we're just getting a lot more coverage of the latent space here. And you can see like it's set up against an urban brick wall background, cover use of shadows and dripping paint, enigmatic message, blah, blah, blah. A sly and clever dash and it's not, you know, that makes sense. Like the, the dash and would be sly and clever if it was a Banksy, <laughs> it's his style. Cool, so this is much better, right? We still have a little bit of the issue with our overlap, but I think in general, the images look a lot sounder and we have a much clearer prompt, like a much more well-developed prompt. And you can do a lot with this. So right now we're just using it to do it manually, but this is something I do a lot with my prompts. But you could also programmatically do this, right? So if you're using Stable Diffusion, before you send the results to Stable Diffusion, you could do a few calls to OpenAI and uh, rewrite the prompt for the user. And it tends to get much better results.